Sky. Sky. Good girl. And this is the top of my property. Ow! So right after I took that video at the top of my property, guess who heard a, oh! I got quiet. Dogs got quiet. 30 seconds, brush it off. And another. Oh. And that is when I got me and the dogs the fuck out of there! Ah! Never again will I come up here without a high powered firearm. <laughs> fuck. Not even bear spray, just this. <laughs> Sorry to think I was paranoid, tramps around the woods with a gun. Uh, uh. Back at the cabin, post bear scare, and uh, reminded of when I came up here to check out the property to buy it, ran into one of my neighbors, and he told me that one night he got up, noise in the kitchen, there was a bear rummaging through his cabinets that he ended up having to put down. It's a beautiful place, but um, some precautions should be heeded. <laughs> when in bear territory, always carry bear spray or a high-powered firearm or both. <laughs> so I decided to come and check out the spot where last night I heard the horror. And this time, I'm not just bringing an axe. And I came up over this ridge to the side of where I'd been hiking. And I start to see piles of scat that are not small, they are huge. This is less than like a hundred yards, maybe 200 yards from where I was last night. And I think I've found a bear den. Nestled away in these set of trees. Saw some old scat coming up. Looks like little piles of pancakes, kind of. But um, set up a game, game camera up on the trail that I used to come up and the deer are using so maybe I can see him maybe I should move the camera to here we'll see Man, I get a weird, real weird feeling walking through those tall shrubs back in those trees where you can't see very far. Whew. More game cameras are coming up here. Man, is it beautiful. Feel a lot better with these two out here. It's 
crazy what their noses pick up on. I just got another rodent on the hike up. He's getting pretty good at that. There he is. Good boy. This guy usually stays pretty close to my side until she starts to hear that Ice found something and then she gets jealous and wants to follow him. She's not quite as nimble as she used to be. This guy's uh, nine, nine years old. Got her after my first year teaching. And sadly, she's got cancer for the third time. And it's spread to multiple spots on her body this time. And they say that surgery is not really an option. Where it had worked well the last two times. Come here, Sky. She seems to be doing really good. Love her. Best friend. There's a reason they call him man's best friend. They're an amazing companions. Appreciate him, I think, even more being out here in such a lonesome kind of place. Ice heard it too. Pulse my arm. Press on. Boy, are my dogs tired. Ha 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 ha. Lame dad joke, I know. So I had mentioned uh, Sky's cancer earlier. Thought maybe you would be interested to see where sur surgeries were. Here she just had like a golf ball sized tumor pop up overnight. And you can see where they had to cut that out here on her uh, left hip. This guy. And she had another one here on her tummy. They had to open her up and do. Oh, that was her uh, getting fixed surgery. And there's the tumor one. The new one popped up here on her hind quarters. There's one. I think there's another one up on her head. And here on her left paw. Um, what seemed to help was I switched her food. Now I was giving her all rice and ground beef and taking away all the fat because she had some pancreatitis. She was throwing up and I was real worried about her. But switching up her diet, cutting out the fat seems to really help her, her pancreas heal. And um, now since we're off grid and I don't really have refrigeration, she's having to go back to uh, eating kibble again. But salmon and potato seems to do good for her. Keep our best friends healthy. And we found our first bones. And I think we are on to this bear's territory. It's looking for that kind of confirmation. You guys want to go outside? Check this out. I think this might be the fastest guy's ever run.
pretty impressive ice. If only I had bear claws to climb that tree. <laughs> well, y'all, I think that squirrel lives to fight another day. Come on. Sky. Sky, come. Come on. Come on, boy. Inside. Come on. 